And here's a little bit about what we're going to cover today. So we're going to have some education about high sensitivity, including some of our brain differences. We're going to learn about positives, challenges, and solutions. That is positives of the trait, challenges of having high sensitivity, and some solutions that can really help. And we're going to give you some resources to help you prevent misdiagnosis and learn some tips and tools that support a sensitive nervous system. And I'm going to be sharing some recommended free resources for you. So a little bit about me, I'm Julie B. Elland, and I am a licensed psychotherapist and I specialize in high sensitivity. I'm the host of the HSP podcast and I have the HSP blog and lots of different resources. I created the highly sensitive, um, the sensitive empowerment community for highly sensitive people. And my website is very dedicated to helping sensitive people thrive. I'm also a highly sensitive person at the highest level of sensitivity myself. I've raised highly sensitive children and I've been working for years with sensitive people. So it's really my mission to help you understand yourself and understand the trait and help you really thrive to your fullest potential. So a little bit about the trait. It's actually scientifically known as sensory processing sensitivity. We tend, we tend to call it the highly sensitive person or HSP for short. And it is an innate trait, not a disorder. You are born with this trait. This is not a disorder. It's found in about 15 to 20% of the population. It's equal in gender, and we've found it in over 100 species and counting already. And there's a lot of research about this trait, actually. And we tend to be challenged by sensory overload. And we're going to talk more about that as well as some of the brain differences. So some of the positives, I love to talk about the positive gifts of the trait. You can read micro expressions and body language that the majority of the population misses. You have, you're more kind and compassionate and empathetic and empathic. You have more of an advanced awareness. You're more insightful. You're more intuitive. We're going to talk about that a little bit in understanding some of the brain differences. You tend to be the most creative people. You're good listeners, you tend to make others feel safe, and you have advanced problem-solving ability. You can really see a lot of different angles to understand um, situations and problem-solving. So really tend to be very good at that because you have a lot of extra information. And you're more conscientious. So that's a beautiful trait to have right there. You evolved for a reason. This trait really did evolve for a reason. It, it was for the survival of the population. We needed a group of people with extra information that have these extra sensory abilities.